Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can download a Microsoft Word document from Schoology, how you can type on it, and then how you can upload it back to Schoology once you're done so that you can submit the assignment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Schoology. We're going to click on the course that has the assignment. So just for today for practice, I'm going to do the student contact form that's in English. So it's in my English course, so I'm going to click on English. And then I'm going to click the folder that it's in. So I'm going to click on the getting to know each other folder. And then here's the student and family contact form. So I'm going to click on that. Now you'll notice that first nothing's here. That's because you have to click these blue letters that say view attachments. Then you'll see the file that was attached, the student contact form. So then I can click that. And now look, I can't type. That's because we're still on Schoology. We can only type once it's in Microsoft Word. So we have to click the arrow that's up in the top right corner. And then we're going to find Microsoft Word. I don't see it on mine, so I have to click the More button. And now I'm going to see where it says Copy to Word with the blue Word icon with the white W. So I'm going to click Copy to Word. And again, I still, I, here's my mouse, but I still can't type. So I'm, I have to click Save a Copy first. And now if you, if you still can't save, you can just click OneDrive, and then that will prevent it um, from doing that. You'll be able to save. And then you can just give it a name. So you can usually just keep it the same name that it was already given, and then click Save. And now I will be able to type. I just, oops. Sorry. So on mine, it's a little bit finicky just because um, I'm on my phone. There we go. So sometimes my um, typing board doesn't want to come up. But here we go. So now, so you see, once I saved it, now I can type. I'm going to type in all of my answers. And then pretend I did all of these. Once I'm done, I'm going to come up here. And I could either click on this little button, this arrow. Or I can do it by clicking the dots. I'm going to show you by clicking the dots because I just think it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to click on the three dots. And I'm going to click send a copy. Before we did save a copy, right, right here. But this time we're done. We already, we're done with it. And we have auto save on. So it's already been saving all of our changes. Now we're going to send a copy because we're going to send it back into Schoology. So send a copy. And before we send it, we're going to change the format. We're going to click this. We're going to change the format to a PDF just because it makes it a little bit easier for us to grade it. Then we're going to click send with another app because we, I don't see Schoology on here, right? So I'm going to click send with another app. And now I'm going to find Schoology. I don't see Schoology on mine. So I'm going to click the three dots for more. And I'm going to scroll down until I see Copy to Schoology. Now I'm bringing it back into Schoology. And right here, I'm going to click Submit to Assignment. Submit this file to an assignment. And this, I'm already right at the student contact form assignment, right where I'm supposed to be. If, you, if it brought you back out, if it kicked you back out and used your courses, you would just have to go back, click on English, click on the Getting to Know Each Other folder, and then click on the student contact form. So once we're back here, we're in the assignment, we're in the student contact form, because that's the assignment we're working on, then we can click Submit to Assignment. And it won't pop up for me just because um, I'm not a student. But once you click that, you'll see a button where you can click Submit, and then we will have it, and you'll be all done. So I hope this video was helpful. As always, let me know if you have any questions.